Hey guys, welcome back to Durrell's Artwork Spotlight, and today we have another recording artist for you. Um, she also has signed with Pure Entertainment, and we we're just gonna sit down with her and see how she feels about it all. So sit back and relax, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that old like button because it encourages us to keep going, and you will be notified for future uh, videos. Thanks a lot. Peace. Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Durell Artworks. Um, today we are having a uh, guest on our spotlight show. Uh, her name is Easy Baby. She's from Vancouver, and we'll welcome her in right now. Come on in. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Welcome. Thank you. That's my applause. That's your applause. Great. All right. So uh, let's get right down into it. Uh, where are you from? I was born and raised in Surrey, and uh, my parents come from uh, Palestine, and I speak Arabic and English, and I I live out here in Burnaby now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you speak uh, two languages. You speak any other languages? No. No, no. But no, you will one but day. But I will one day, hopefully uh, soon. There, there you go. There you go. Um. So, when did you think that you? When did you start to being interested in music? So I started at a very young age. It all started when I was uh, two years old. My dad taught me how to play the drums. And uh, as I got older, I just was always into that rhythm. Like even when I was younger, I was just always playing with like, even with the toys, just like hit them playing like rhythms and stuff like that. And then as I got into grade seven, grade eight, it was all about like jazz music and stuff. I was about, like, I was crazy about sports before, but then it all changed when I hit high school. And then I started becoming crazy about the drums because my teacher was seeing things in me that I wasn't even seeing, right? right. She put me in, um, like, I was with, like, the older kids at a really young age. Like, I was in senior jazz band when, like, I wasn't even, like, I couldn't even be in senior jazz band. But she just put me in there because she was talented. Because I was talented. There you go. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and then I started writing music around, like, grade 8, grade 9. And I wasn't really, like, serious about it. But, and then um, other people started telling me, why don't you rap or make your own music? And then... Once I started doing that, I started seeing different things, and I wrote more, and then now I'm here. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what age would you think that you really decided that this would be your dream, like this is something that you wanted to do? Uh, like grade 9, grade 10, that's when it all like started being serious. So around like 13, 14, 14, 15. All right, and uh, no, I'm not supposed to ask the lady your name, <laughs> her age, but um, how old are you? I'm 19 years old currently, turning 20 in April, April 4th. Awesome. So you've been basically honing your craft so far for five to six years then? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So would you say that um, pretty much in the, the making music was part of your dreams? Making music was, music has always been like, even like not even writing music, just like listening to music, it, it just helps me when I'm like sad, angry or whatever. Just music is like first, my first to go, my first. You know how everyone has a person? Yeah. Music is my person. Is your person. Yeah. I agree. I thought yeah. music's me too. Like, you know, you, if you feel upset or yeah. something, you just yeah. put some headphones on it just and, helps me. and chill out. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. I got you on that one. Um, so, who are your inspirations for music? Like my, like, I would say, you know, Montana 300? No. Montana 300. He's just a... Oh, yes, I do. I'm he, sorry. <laughs> he, he's just different than all these other rappers. He's just, like, lyrically talented. Mm -hmm. The, like what he spits, it's like I, I, I feel it, you know. Right. And like when I connect with someone's music, it's 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 like when you connect with music, it's it's, it's a good feeling, right? Right. It's like it's just I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I it's just it. a feeling. And it's yeah. Definitely. It's hard definitely, to explain. Definitely. So would you say you're more um, attached to lyrics or the rhythm or music? What's what hits you the uh, most? It depends on my mood. Now, if I'm like angry or upset, I would like lyrical, lyrical. But if I'm just like chilling vibing out then the, like the beat okay yeah cool and um so who do you credit uh give credit to so far in um 
getting you where you are, being supportive for who you are or where you are right now? I would say my mom. Your she's mom? Yeah. She's like my biggest fan and my biggest supporter. She's always pushed me when no one else, like everyone else had doubted me right. and she just kept pushing me. And, and yeah. No yeah. Way. It's always nice. I wouldn't be anywhere without her. Your mom being that person, that's for yeah. sure. That's for sure. Um, she'll never let you down. Yeah. You can always look at your mom for the truth, you <laughs> know, know. And even when you don't want to hear it. Yeah. Believe me. Shoot, they always know. <laughs> yeah, the, those knots in the back of my head, that's where they got from. <laughs> but uh, enough about me. Uh, let's go back to, okay, um, you're, you're a young woman yeah. entering uh, a predominantly male industry. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? I've always been like a, like a tomboy at a very young like young age. I've never been like on like the feminine side, so mm -hmm. like that doesn't really like matter to me. Cause I've always I don't know. I like to like do different things. I I like to persuade myself as different. Like I'm just different than other people. I'm unique, right? Yeah. 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 Right. And that's what makes me me. Well, I've heard a little bit of your yeah. music, and you yeah. are very unique. That's for sure. Thank you. That's for sure. Okay. Um. Where do you see yourself in the in the next couple of years? So in the next couple of years, hopefully, getting like my name out there, not just like my name, but my music as well, because I like to spit a lot of my um, ex like I like to express how I feel through my music, and I just want other people to connect with my with me through my through my music. Right. So hopefully, I never got the chance to do that because of where I am, and everyone just wants to hate like the. This is like the society that I, that we're around, right? Everyone, just, no one wants to support. But hopefully, in the next five years or ten years or whatever, then Sooner that than that'll change. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? You're so talented. Things are gonna happen pretty quick. Thank you. Um, so uh, you just signed on with Pure Entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I'm excited for the journey. I'm excited to work hard, and I'm excited. Thank you guys for the opportunity. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I know uh, Pure being a, a new up-and-coming yeah. um, business in, in the entertainment industry, yeah. um, a few of their uh, owners have been in the industry for a while, yeah. and they look at you as a star yeah. already. Yeah. So um, hold that dear to your heart and Thank stay you. true. Um, if you had to choose one thing, yeah. if you had to choose one thing that you wanted your audience or, or yeah. anybody that didn't know you, wanted to know, yeah. what would you tell them? About me? About yourself. That's a hard question. I told you it was coming. <laughs> I told you. Can you ask me the question again? I sure can. How about if I rephrase, rephrase it for you? Yeah. So, if it was the last days on earth, okay. <laughs> what is it that you would want to let people know who you about you and who you are? Uh, um, I'm just like I don't know. I feel like I'm just I don't know. I feel like I was put on this earth to like I don't know. I don't, I'm I don't feel like I'm like other people. I feel like I was put on this earth to like help others in a way. Okay. So I feel like. I would let, I would want everyone to know that I'm not the person that they think I am. I would want them to show them who I really was. Like on the inside, I have like a like a kind heart, and you know, like I'm just very like outgoing. I never really let things get to me, and yeah, right. I would want to show people the real me, not who they think I am. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, I want just want to congratulate you again on the signing. Thank you. Of your new contract, Thank and you. I just wish you the best. Thank you know, you. I, like I said, I've heard your music, and yeah. and I can't wait for my audience to see you and Thank uh, you hear so you. Much. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good job. Good job. Hi guys! Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share on Darrell Artworks channel. Thank you so much. Happy.